It's my time and it's my time, my time, my time and it's we get raw. It's my time to spit, my time, my time, my time to spit, we get raw. Hi, I'm Stan Collymore and you're watching your raw. <laughs> Hello, hello, the mighty red man. Yeah, money to do to do to do. This guy again set the world on fire with that beautiful goal against Palace. Yeah, we have been unpalaced. Just go back and remember how many times we have lost at home against this team from London. And you don't have to go far. Last season, when we were still fighting for the Champions League spot, we capitulated thanks to a brace from our former player. So this was not the case this time. We won 1-0. This was not the prettiest game, but obviously, you know, you cannot have 38 pretty games in a season. Three points is all that matters. First game at home. And let's get straight to the reactions from all of you beautiful sexy reds from across the world and I will start with you Cam at Anfield in Liverpool. Defensively very sound, all the full backs and the two centre backs did really well. Um, great debut from Robertson, uh, possibly man of the match. Uh, midfield, a bit worried about that, lacking in creativity, uh, nothing to shout home about there. Uh, forward line working really really hard uh, but without that uh, midfield helping them out, they, they are going to struggle. So until we address that uh, midfield issue and get some more uh, uh, creativity in the middle, we, we, we're going to have our time. But overall, 1-0, can't complain. We're taking that at the beginning of the day. So first win of the season and um, up the Redmen. Well done. Brilliant game. We needed it at home. This was important. This was huge. Three points at Anfield. First time we beat Palace in a long damn time. Huge. Big, big win. Big You're man of the match, my friend. Man of the match, Mane. He was there. He posted really nicely. He was right at the right spot. He got it done for us. Fantastic. I was not impressed. I'm glad we got a chip in. We got a bit of a chip in. But we can't keep this up. You can't win the league playing like that. You can't win the league. Кроме, наверное, того момента с Бентеки, когда он должен был забирать. И то, что Гомес очень сильно выпадал из игры. Он, это была либо неуверенность, либо он просто не попал в игру. Но в первом тайме это особенно было видно. We have possession. Mohamed yeah, Salah is a game changer. Mohamed Salah is a game changer. Salah, when he came in. Yeah. When Salah came in. Sturge is healthy. Love it. Sturge is healthy. I love it. God bless him. Salah, Salah looks really good. And, um, well, what do you think about Salah coming on? How did he change the game? He just, he adds that pace. And I really do think that him and, um, you know, kind of like, uh, kind of like Bobby and Coutinho work off of each other. And, you know, uh, the pace of uh, Mane and uh, Salah, they work, they work off each other really well. You just, they need that connection. And I, I'm hoping that Bobby can be that. I just, Sturridge just didn't give enough today. And I, I didn't think Milner gave enough today. But but everyone else, I thought, you know, Klavan actually, I thought that up. Klavan didn't play bad today. He, he, looked, he looked composed. Klavan! Klavan! <laughs> Firmino was on and off. I don't think his passing was very good today, um, but generally was very good. Um, Genie um, was a lot better than he was the last two games. I don't know why he plays so much better at home. Um, but yeah, not much to say about that one. Um, could have been three or four. Salah looked good. Salanke looked good coming off the bench. Well, you see, the opinions have been somewhat different there. Some were really happy about the game and some were okay. You know, a sound game, good result, three points. Some, as Matt from DC said there, that 
uh, he wasn't really uh, impressed at all, and you cannot win the league if you play like this, which is, you know, arguably if you have a 38-1-0 wins like this one, you would win the league, right? But anyway, um, one thing which everybody was in unison about, as you could probably imagine, as you could probably hear, is... Uh, the importance of Mane and Salah and the way Salah actually changed the game when he came on. But I also agree with a couple of Reds there that Solanke was um, a, a very influential player when he came on and I think this lad has a big future uh, ahead. And actually one of the Reds, uh, Oleg from Moscow, even believes that Sturridge should make way for Solanke. Sturridge near form, Sturridge не бегает Старич, ленив Старич, Старич в традиционной форме. Поэтому я считаю, что должен быть Саланки в основе. Второй форвард, который может что-то сыграть на кроссе. You know, you could argue whether Oleg is right there. I mean, it's obviously his opinion whether Starich should make way. I thought uh, also that Starich wasn't at his best. He was never really threat like he used to be. Uh, I, I'm not sure whether that's down to laziness or, or, or fitness, but um, I'm certainly expecting more of him. Like, you know, remember last season when we were, like, begging for Sturridge to come on, come on, and then he came on against West Ham and scored, and what a goal and what important goal that was. Um, but, yeah, uh, I think Solanke was uh, a much bigger threat when he came on than Sturridge was throughout the game. Uh, but there is also one other player which stood out, again, uh, you know, uh, above everybody in this game. That is, obviously, Andy Robertson. A debut... A full debut for Liverpool, also at home for the first game, for the first time this season. And my word, I um, mean, you can't say that he was blistering, you know, because his job is to defend and to uh, provide crosses on the offensive line. And he did both very, very well. He was completely unfazed despite his age. And some of the Reds uh, went as far as comparing him to legends of the past. I thought Robertson played really well. He had a couple slips, a couple times they got behind him, but more, more and more he he is he was fantastic today. I thought he did really well. His passes were great. Uh, his, his, his playing handle was great. He did a good job. Очень сильно понравился Робертсон, особенно кроссы и то, что он не боится брать игру на себя и бить поворотом. Его удар даже был очень хорош. Матчи играют три игрока. Миниале, Фермина и Робертс. Это лучший левый защитник, которого мы видели со времен Йона Арнариса. Well, whether Andy Robertson is the future John Arnariese, we are yet to see, but clearly a very impressive debut right there. Uh, so at the time I'm recording this, uh, it's just about 24 hours left for uh, the Hoffenheim game. Obviously, this thing will be dated, so by the time. I'm, I'm uh, communicating with you next time, guys. Uh, we'll definitely know whether Liverpool is in the Champions League. No, not whether. Liverpool will be in the Champions League, lads. And uh, don't forget, uh, Arsenal this weekend. Please record me your videos. Not just your post-game thoughts, but also uh, just do the atmosphere around you. Chanting, singing, all that stuff. I'm always uh, willing to use that on my show as, you know, to show how the Reds are watching the games worldwide. You remember my email, please drop it there or direct message me on Twitter. For now, I'll see you later and up the red man! <laughs>